Hi, I'm Anju Waja, Principal Associate Director in the Division of Research and Statistics at the Federal Housing Finance Agency. Today, we release the House Price Index report and data for the first quarter of 2023. And I would like to talk about the latest trends in house prices in the United States. At the national level, the US market saw a 4.3% appreciation from the year prior and a 0.5% increase from the fourth quarter of 2022. Annual house price gains increased rapidly starting in the second half of 2020 and peaked in the first quarter of 2022 at 18.8%. Now we have observed an even more rapid decline. In only four quarters, the house price growth has fallen to a level below what was seen in the fourth quarter of 2014. Higher mortgage rates continue to put downward pressure on housing demand. But this negative pressure was partially offset by historically low housing supply. While house price appreciation is slowing, we have seen 45 consecutive quarters of growth going all the way back to 2012. Like the national level, the house price appreciation on an annual basis and on a quarterly basis was positive for seven divisions. However, we did see house price declines on both an annual basis and a quarterly basis for the Pacific and Mounted Census divisions. Despite the slowdown in the annual house price growth at the national level, the quarterly house price growth in the first quarter of 2023 was higher as compared to the growth in the prior quarter. The trend was similar for most census divisions. Of the seven census divisions with positive quarterly growth, six divisions saw a higher rate of quarterly house price growth in the first quarter of 2023 as compared to the growth in the prior quarter. Even for those census divisions where house prices fell, the quarterly decline was less than in the prior quarter. House prices declined on an annual basis in seven states and the District of Columbia. All seven states were in the Pacific and Mountain Census Divisions. The declines ranged from minus 4.3% in Utah to minus 1.1% in Colorado. All other states saw house price rises from 0.7% in Arizona to 9.5% in South Carolina. While no state saw house price appreciation above 10%, nine metropolitan statistical areas saw double-digit increases on an annual basis. Furthermore, there were some variations in house price growth among metropolitan areas within a state. While house prices in Texas rose by 5.1% compared to a year ago, the Austin Round Rock Georgetown MSA in Texas saw a 8.5% decline. It was the only MSA recording a decline in the state. On the other hand, while house prices in California fell 2.9% compared to a year ago, the Fresno MSA in California saw a 2.3% increase over the same time period. It was one of the only two MSAs recording an appreciation in that state. To find more information on house price changes for all states, the top 100 metropolitan areas and more, you can read the full report, download data, and interact with our online tools by visiting fhfa.gov hbi. The FHFA House Price Index quarterly video series will return in August with data through the second quarter of 2023. For FHFA, I'm Anju Waja. Thank you for watching.